Hi, I'm Chris from Radius Networks, and I'm going to show you how to use Proximity Kit to build a simple mobile application that will change a web view based on being close to an iBeacon. So, I've logged into my ProximityKit.com account. Uh, I don't have any kits associated with anything yet, so I'm going to make a new one. And since it's going to be a web view that I change, I'm going to call this app Web Beacon. And I create that. And it's going to be based off of iBeacons, so I'm going to add one. And what I want to do is have three different beacons that will associate with three different URLs. And whenever my app gets close to one of these beacons, it'll show that URL in the web view. So I'm going to have one called work. And let me put the UID here. And it'll have a major and minor value of 1. And this is the cool part about Proximity Kit is that I can actually associate metadata attributes with um, these three identifiers. And so I can tie some information like, say, a URL with um, the iBeacon identifiers. And the Proximity Kit SDK will keep that in sync with the, with the mobile app. So then I'm going to drop in this URL and save it. So cool. So you can see I have one uh, organization uh, grouping, which is the big UUID for the iBeacon. Uh, I've grouped everything under one major identifier, and I have um, one single iBeacon underneath there. So I want pretty much the same settings, but I'm going to call this the theater. And I'm going to give it a minor value of 2 and just change the URL slightly. Save it. Let's do that one more time for home. Give it a value of 3. And, whoops, make that different URL. Save that. Cool. So that's all I need to do to set up my kit. Now what I need to do is go and download the SDK. So I come here. Um, I'm going to build an iOS application. If I wanted Android, I could go and download that. And uh, for this video, I'm just going to show how to download the framework. So it'll download that. And then if you scroll down a little bit more, there's also a config file, which um, has all the settings that the SDK needs to um, sync with our back end. So now I have a, the plist and the framework bundle and they're here in my downloads. So, so let's open up Xcode and I want to build a new project. A single view application. Next. Let's call this web beacon. Oh. I'll just stick it on the desktop for right now. Let's create that. Cool, so now I have a simple application uh, that's empty. I can build it. And what I need to do is add those two files to my app. So first I'm going to extract the framework bundle. And I'm just going to drag that straight into the frameworks. And I want to make sure that I copy the items into the groups folder. Finish. And I also need my config file. And so I'll just drag this into the project. All right, now I have a brand new single view iPhone application. And I need to import um, Proximity Kit. And add the delegate. And finally, what I need to do is add another property. Uh, 
And let's jump into the implementation. And so we need to set up the delegate to use our app delegate as the uh, to give the callbacks. So first, So that'll start it up. And so the next thing is to come down here and let's actually add the callback. So then in my, my did enter callback, I'm just going to drop in a little bit of code that's going to broadcast a notification center, just using the default notification center. And it's going to say I found a beacon with a URL and pass along this info dictionary, which consists of only the URL. So now what we need to do is jump into our view controller and add a web view. And we go up to the implementation of that. And we're going to drop in a little method that just handles the notification. Uh, most of this is just dealing with the notification center. Let's see that we're going to use the default uh, notification center and uh, listen for found beacon with URL. And when that happens, we're going to get a simple block, which uh, all it's going to do is gra grab the URL um, create a new NSURL request and tell the web view to load that request. But for this to work, uh, we need to make sure that we set that up. So we're going to come up here to our view did load and we're going to call setup notification. So that's good, except that we don't actually have a UI web view yet. So let's jump to the storyboard. Um, let's bring our little bar back. Going to create our web view. Drop that in. Uh, and then we just want to reference that to the web view property that we created. Great, now that we have everything set up, we should just be able to run, run the app. Let's get the AirPlay going over here. I have a big empty web view, but what I can do is um, I'm running this off of uh, AirPlay, so you can see what's happening on my actual physical phone that's sitting next to my computer. Uh, because you can't detect iBeacons with the simulator. Uh, you have to use the physical device. Uh, so I'm just screen sharing that back to my computer so you can see what's happening. And then what I can do is I can come in here and uh, turn the beacon on. There you go. Now it's saying that I'm close to, to work and I can change the beacon going over here on Mac Beacon. Broadcast as a different beacon. And there it goes, it changes. And finally, it, when I get back, now when I get back home, I can see a different screen. And we have an app that shows a different web view based on different iBeacons that it gets near. All right, well, thanks for watching. Hopefully, this helps you build a great app. Uh, if you have any questions, come and find us at proximitykit.com um, or at radiusnetworks.com. Uh, there you can find other services and tools, including a number of uh, hardware beacons. So if you are looking for devices to help you deploy your application, uh, I think we can help you out. So come and find us, radiusnetworks.com. Thank you very much.